cells. Let me explain something. Uh, the difference between a main service panel and a sub panel. All right, a main service panel is going to have a meter with a, a little disc that goes round and round with a little mark on it. Okay. Now, usually your panel is going to look something like this all right not exactly but um, basically um, this will lift up okay and underneath here is where your breakers are all right what makes this a main service panel is this meter right here if there's no meter, it's not a main service panel. All right. Now, inside the panel, let's get rid of this. You're going to have what's called a bus bar. And a bus bar is where your breakers go. It's also where your home runs go. Uh, before I get into the service panel, let me define what a home run is. Home run. That is any wire such as this, okay, which is the main feed to a series of lights or outlets. It is the first line that goes into the panel. So basically, um, remember that, home run. You've got a panel, all right, and you've got like a gazillion wires coming out of here. You know, one of these might be an AC unit. Uh, one might be a dryer. Uh, one might be for lights. Uh, you're going to have numerous ones for outlets. Remember that symbol. And whatever comes into that panel is considered a home run. If you hire an electrician to run a new circuit, a brand new circuit, that's a home run. Okay, it's not something you hit out of the ballpark. Of course, it's that too, but that's uh, really arbitrary. Now, let's get back to where I was going before. I got a little sidetracked. And let's take a look at inside the panel and what you're looking at. Inside the panel, you're going to have a bus bar. Okay. And you're going to have a piece of steel called a dead front. The reason why they call it a dead front is that it's a metal plate that protects you from any live conductors so that when you open that panel you can't stick your hand in there and get shocked. So your first line of defense is the actual panel cover that flips up or open, whatever means, it doesn't matter. But underneath that, there's a secondary plate and it covers up all the conductors and the only thing exposed are the breakers. Now, you're going to have numerous breakers in here, but most importantly, you're either going to have a main service disconnect breaker, uh, usually it's either on the bottom or the top, or in some cases, it's going to be a great big breaker 
and it's going to occupy four different slots okay and it'll say right on it main all right this main can be a hundred amps 125 200 225 300 400 or 600 I'm not licensed to work on anything over 600. That takes an engineering license. But these are the standard main breaker sizes. 100, 125, 200, 225, 300, 400, and 600. They don't make a 500. And uh, that's basically it. So you've got your dead front. You've got your breakers. And you've got your main, which like I said, it can be a very large breaker here, or it can be right here. Now, if you want to service any of these breakers safely, you turn off your main. And what that will do is it will deactivate what we call stabs. Remember that, stabs, all right? Here's an example of what stabs look like. These are stabs right here. The reason they're called stabs is that the breaker stabs onto them. This is a bus bar. Now, bus bar can be used for grounds or neutrals, okay? Now, let me show you how a stab works in reality. Here's a breaker, okay, and just assume this is a, a panel because this is exactly what stabs look like in a panel. Basically the breaker fits in like that and the stabs stab right in like that. So they're actually stabbing into the breaker and that's how you make your electrical connection see it if they're in there right they don't come out too easy like that but let me demonstrate that again see the stabs and they stab right in and basically that's how a breaker is installed that's how they work here is where the conductors come in to feed the stabs now this is just a very small portion of a panel now while we're on the subject if you have stab damage in other words if these are if these are oxidized bent burnt or corroded they cannot be repaired um, there are ways to uh, get around that we could you can eliminate the breaker and uh, put in wafers and just eliminate the use of these but sometimes it requires a replacement of the whole panel and that's very expensive 